What is up YouTube? You're watching The True Show with me, your host The Truth, and today I'm going to be showing you the Infinite Caps glitch for Fallout 4 Next Gen Update. Um, this is pretty simple, guys. If you've watched the duplication resource duplication glitch video that I uploaded, you will know basically essentially how we're doing this, but this still requires a few extra steps. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need some perks. Now, if I go into my perk chart, you'll see all my special stats are at 10. Go back and watch my your special book duplication to find out how to do that. Um, but what you're going to need for this is you're going to need at least a charisma level of 6. And you're going to need 2 points in your local leader perk. The reason you need 2 points in your local leader perk is because this allows you to build shops in your settlements. And that is the key component we need in order to duplicate caps. So once you've got that, you're going to need to be at least level 14 to get level 2 of local leader. So you might need to play the game a little bit, but I wouldn't worry about it. Just go through the motions, go to some camps and stuff and just do whatever, knock about the wasteland, do some stuff, and you'll eventually get there. Once you've got that, next thing you're going to need is some caps. Now, the reason you need caps is because it's going to cost you a set amount of caps to build storefronts. If I go into my storefront here, you will see you need at least 300 caps to build the small store, 600 caps to build the medium stores, and 1,500 caps to build the large stores, but you're also going to need two points in cap collector for that. We haven't got that, so we can't build them yet. So we're building medium stores. <clears throat> now... What you're going to do is you're going to put a store down. Right, that's going to cost you 600 caps. Once you put the store down, you're going to back out. And just like the resource duplication glitch, you're going to store and scrap the shop at the same time. So basically, you're going to press square and X at the same time, but then slide your thumb onto circle. And it should look like this. Right, so you'll get the scrap noise. Then you'll see this menu pop up asking if you want to store the workshop. Select yes. Then when you go back in, you'll have one store set up. So you just put it back down. And then, re oh, I scrapped that then. Right, there we go. Put it back down. 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 And as you'll see, if you look in the top right, my caps are going up. I'm now at 6,585. So let's keep going. Put it down. Scrap and store. Put it down. Scrap and store. Put it down. Scrap and store. And just keep repeating it. Eventually, you will get really used to the button presses and you will just find that sweet spot. And you'll just be able to do it basically every time. Right, there we go. We're going to do it one more time. Right, now... Once you've done it and you've got to the level of caps that you want, um, it is important to know that the caps do not go into your inventory. They go into your workbench. So in order to get the caps, you're going to need to go to your workbench and just scroll down to bottle caps. And you pull them out and then you've got all your bottle caps. And you can do that as much as you want, guys. So that's just infinite caps. You can then go back to Diamond City, buy all the armor, the weapons, anything you need throughout the game. But that's the glitch, guys. I hope it helps people out there out. It's a really helpful glitch, especially if you're wanting to buy stuff from traders and stuff like that. 
so it's fantastic. Um, the next glitch I'm going to be uploading is an EXP glitch. Not so much a glitch as it is a bit of an exploit, but we will get to that. Um, as always, guys, I want to thank everyone for watching. I hope the video has been really helpful. And please like and subscribe if you want. I just do glitch videos. That's pretty much what I do. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all next time on the next one.